If you have a Remington bolt or a clone bolt and you need to get the firing pin assembly out and you don't have the proper tool, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, first off, let's just say you really should buy the right tool. The correct tool goes up and over the firing pin assembly. It provides really good leverage, lets you spin off the uh, firing pin assembly out of the bolt. So that's the right way to do it, but there are plenty of times, maybe you're out in the field, maybe you're at a match, maybe you don't have the proper tool, but you need to get your bolt open. Something's jammed in there, you need to clean it, whatever it is. I'm gonna show you how to do it with some string and a penny. Now, I like using a penny, although you can use honestly anything, you just need a shim. Uh, to go into what I'm going to show you, uh, but I just find a penny works the best uh, It has the kind of the biggest diameter for the um, thinnest uh, ability, you know thinnest piece here compared to like a nickel or something that's thicker uh, or even a quarter so uh, But anything will work if you can get it in there, and I'll show you what to do So what we're really trying to do is we're trying to cock the gun and in order to do that We need something which I happen to use surveyor string. I really like this because it has no stretch and it's a really small diameter and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hooking the string right over this and pulling okay so see how that is and while you can use a shoelace and i've certainly seen it done I'll, I'll, i'm trying to think if i ever did in the beginning i think i've always used this string but uh you can use a shoelace but the smaller it is the easier it is to hook over this and keep it hooked uh, the bigger the string or shoelace is, the more chance it'll pop off while you're trying to pull. So first thing we need to do is find an anchor point. Now, I know people who have used trailer hitches. I've used my foot before. Um, anything you can pull hard on. I happen to be using my press handle here. And um, and you can see if I angle up just a little bit, you'll see it's on my, my handle there. So let's come over here now. Okay. And what you're going to see is that I hook it on to the that first notch. If I tried hooking the second one, it's just going to pop off. So that's how you know that's not the right one. But what we're going to do is we're going to pull and you have to pull really hard. I mean, this, you know, you're going to you're going to want to pull. And what happens is there's now a gap down here where you can stick the penny. So the penny is now in here. You can see there's a gap that created when the firing pin assembly pulled back. And now I can unscrew this, okay? So very simple. And now I can get into my bolt. I can clean, I can do whatever I need to. Now, just a word of advice. If this penny pops out, that firing pin is gonna go whoop, back in and it's gonna be really tough to, to pull on that shoelace again. Um, it's just it's just harder so while there's this is under a ton of pressure and it's it's really hard to get out like you know i would have to really work to pop it out just be careful with it and don't go dropping it on the concrete or something where it's going to spring out or your life just gets a little more difficult um if it does fall out and you happen to have the right tool eventually it's super easy to put it back together but uh, all i need to do now is do whatever i need to do clean the gun get whatever debris is out dry it off if it fell in water, whatever it is. And now I simply screw it back. I'm gonna line up my firing pin part here where it needs to be. I'm going to grab my string again. We are just taking the pressure off so I can remove the, um, so I can remove the penny. And now it slides right back into position and I am good to go. So it's that simple. It's a great trick. Uh, it doesn't take up any space in a, a hiking bag, hunting bag, range bag, whatever it is, to keep a penny and a little bit of string. I promise you this will save your butt someday. Um, you just don't know when, but uh, it's <laughs> I've seen it happen. So uh, be prepared. Keep something like this around and you'll be thankful.